Now that's the type of assembly I like, ready to go right out of the box. So I got some good news. Voro Motors is offering 5% off on the Touring. It is 900 bucks, so you save 70 bucks off of that price tag. The Touring is the first scooter I reviewed with triple shock suspension. You got stems, you got double spring in the front and double spring in the rear. So hopping off a little eight inch curb like this is not bad at all. It has got to be one of the smoothest rides so far. The deck is nice and spacey. It's 21 by eight inches long and seven inches wide. I can put both my feet one in front of the other with room to spare. And side by side, I can do it. They do hang off maybe about a half an inch on each side. I call this a chicken leg scooter because the wheels are quite small. They're only eight inches. You have this large frame with these tiny wheels. I thought it'd be interesting to get a few other opinions. Some of these people have ridden scooters and some have not. So let's see what they thought. You guys just missed it. He, he, <laughs> he went up on this curb right here and uh, just hit it at the right or wrong, I guess, just... angle and uh, went Superman diving onto the grass. So <laughs> as far as crashing, man, that was very graceful. Well, very thank nice. you. Yeah, That's what I'm going for, really. It's just, I'm a picture of grace. <laughs> like I say, it's really smooth. Like even taking these terrible curves in our neighborhood, it's like, you don't really even feel it that much. I am not a light person and I was doing 20 the whole time and it never felt like it was gonna slow down. So best guess on how much something like this costs. Okay, so you're getting a true novice because I have literally never even looked into this. At least 700 bucks? You're fairly close, it's 900. Okay, there um, you go. Thanks for checking it out, man. I appreciate yeah, your feedback. Yeah, no worries. I like the suspension aspect of it. And yeah. you've ridden these like the city commuter ones, right? Yeah. They have a little bit of experience, so. It adds a layer of play that you don't have with like the street cruisers or just standard scooters. I know some of these can get pretty pricey. I'm gonna go high and say like 1300. Uh, it's like actually that. 900. 900. Yeah. yeah. So I've only gone like 50 yards, but immediately first impression is that I like the throttle on this a little better. It's a little more gradual, but picks you up and goes really well. Uh, how much do you think this thing costs? Probably a thousand bucks. Thousand bucks? Yeah. You're close, man. Close? 900. <laughs> 900. Look at this. I didn't sign up for this crap. <laughs> okay, so back to the interview. Uh, what was your favorite feature? Uh, this guy. The bell? You like the bell? I like the bell. <laughs> Did you like leave it to Beaver as a kid? Yeah. <laughs> the Touring has a 500 watt brushless motor powered by a 48 volt LG battery. They don't have any speed recommendation for it, so they're playing it safe. There's three speed modes. This test is gonna be on the highest speed. Now in the menu, they have what they call P settings, and P setting number eight allows you to adjust the power of like how fast a scooter can go. So I do have a set for 100%. It has a 330 pound weight limit. I'm 180 pounds. The first test with a full battery, I hit 19 miles per hour on yeah. the gun. It said 20 on the scooter. On a 50% battery, I hit 18 miles on the gun and 19 on the scooter. So if you're around 200 pounds on a flat stretch of road, you'll go about 19 to 20 miles an hour. The Touring can either start from just straight throttle or kickstart it. There's also a uh, setting to change the pickup and go. Zero is a hard pickup and go, and one is more of a soft start. So for this test, I have it set on kickstart mode and on a hard start. The battery is drained down to just two bars, so that's probably in the 30 to 40% range. So I hit 21 miles an hour and three fourths of a block. It's not the fastest acceleration, um, but it does pretty good. Okay, this is the range test. Voro Motors says the Touring can do 25 miles. The route I'm going on is throughout the kind of the outskirts of the city. There's a lot of stop and go, so trying to give a realistic expectation of what you can expect. In the P menu on number four, you have the option to change from kilometers to miles. And on number six, you can turn the cruise control on or off. There is a horn and a bell. And you have a three to four hour recharge. There's five modes. The first is time, second is trip odometer, third is total odometer, next is voltage, and the last is for the USB port, which is behind the LCD screen. 
Well, I had to venture out of town a little bit because this thing just has such a long range. This is the first scooter that went over the range. I hit just over 27, I would show you, but uh, I actually drove it until it just shut off on me. The first two battery bars died within uh, six, seven miles. The last three took 20 miles and I was going 18 miles an hour when it died, when it just stopped. So the battery is fantastic, power is fantastic, range is fantastic. The Touring is rated up to a 15% hill with a 150 pound rider weight. The battery looks to be just about between 40 and 50%. Matthew, I have a special mission for you. Will you be the AccuMaster reader outer? This is a face of pure talent and pure ability. We got 12.8. 13.4, 11.2. So based on those three readings, what would you say this hill is rated at? I wasn't even listening to you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dang it, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> it did pretty good for uh, hill climbing ability. The steepest part of the hill, I was hitting eight miles an hour, sometimes even nine. There's only one brake with the touring, uh, but it is a drum brake. Now you also have regenerative brakes. You have three levels which can be accessed in the P menu. So there's a tree to my right that I'm gonna use as my marking point. Once I reach that, I'm gonna slam on the brake and then measure how long it takes me to stop. So it stopped about 30 to 35 feet. The Touring has an IP54 waterproof rating. It comes with front, back, and side lights for some pretty cool night riding and it collapses in three to five seconds and weighs 39 pounds. So I've worked with a lot of companies and I gotta say Voro has one of the best customer service and after media market libraries. If anything breaks or anything goes wrong, they have spare parts for like everything. And they also have a one year warranty. So guys, that wraps it up. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, you found it helpful. If you did, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks a lot for hopping on here and checking out my content and we'll see you next time.